Hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, and we're going to do a little short today. And I don't know if you can tell, but I got extra gray hairs in my in my head from this. This has been one hellacious uh, launch for the Z97 series of motherboards. But what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a little short and a tutorial on how to use the new AI Suite 3, which contains Dual Intelligent Processor 5. DIP5 now, not DIP4 anymore, DIP3, and it has five-way optimization. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. It'll be just a short for you, a little tutorial, and I'll get back and give you my opinion on it in a few. All right, everyone. Now, this is just going to be an overview, so I'm not going to get into anything. I'm just going to show you where things are at, and then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to separate everything, do some short little videos on each specific item that I feel you might want to see when it comes to the uh, Asus AI Suite 3 with Dual Intelligent Processors 5. So if we look at the primary interface, you're going to see the Dual Intelligent Processor 5 up on the top. You then have five-way optimization. No more four-way optimization. It is five-way optimization now. We will show you that a little bit later. You have a power-saving formula, and basically these different items will give you an auto setting, a performance setting, power saving, and away mode. You have your TPU and your Turbo app, which is something new for for the uh, AI suite for the Z97 series. Fan Expert 3, which is very common. You should know about that if you have an ASUS board. We then have the Digi Plus VRM and Digi Plus Power Control below that, and then our EPU settings. Below that on the very bottom is our CPU frequency, our voltage, our temperatures, and of course our fan speeds. If we go ahead and click on that, see what it does it shows you your CPU frequency it shows you what your DRAM frequency is and it also shows you what type of usage each CPU is getting now you remember this is a 4770k Haswell Intel processor so it has four cores but there are a four virtual cores so that's why it's showing eight cores here on the bottom we'll go ahead back and we'll show, look at our voltage and of course this shows the CPU voltage which is going to be the voltage on each core if we scroll that down it will show the core voltage your rails on your on your uh, power supply of course your graphics voltage and your system agent voltage as well as input and CPU cache voltage flipping back on that we could go to temperature and of course these are your temperature sensors it's going to show you the temperatures of everything in your board flipping back to that we could go to our fan and this will show you what the fans are right now I only have one fan set up and that would be on my uh, AIO so of course you're not going to see it there because I do not have this in a system at this time We'll go ahead back to that. We'll click on settings here to the right. And now we can set our thresholds for our voltages for when it's going to warn us about things. So by using the sliders, you can go back and forth to set your thresholds. Temperatures, this is going to set your thresholds for your temperatures. CPU, VRM, PCH, sensor, motherboard, etc. Your fan, these are your thresholds for your fan control. And of course, if you go under settings, it's going to tell you the difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The only other thing to left to look at is up here to the right hand side. When you click on that, it brings you to the rest of the parts of the suite that are not showing on the graphical interface. Of course, you could always get back to DIP5 by clicking on the DIP5 icon, but there is also an AI charger here. If you're familiar with USB Boost 3.0 Boost, ASUS has one of the best on the market for boosting your USB 3.0. Of course, you have your USB BIOS flashback and system information, USB charger, 
Wi-Fi engine, which is something new that we'll, we will definitely show you, and of course, push notice, which is another new thing for this new AI suite for the Z97 motherboards. We'll go ahead back to DIP5, and I'm going to go ahead and conclude this from here. That was your quick overview on the graphical user interface for the ASUS AI suite. 3 for the Z97 mainstream motherboards. All right, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed that quick overview of the graphical interface of ASUS AI Suite for the Z97 motherboards. What we're going to do is just going to do quick little bites for you to keep the time down so you watch what you want, you digest what you want. You don't have to watch if you don't want to watch something. So next, I think I'm probably going to do auto-tuning, which is going to be through the DIP5, the five-way optimization, and then we'll go on from there. So based on what you want to see, you could watch. We'll keep it real short for you. Stay thirsty, my friends. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.